Good morning, everybody. Okay, you requested a reassessment of a $5.5 million grant that Daryl McGuire stood to gain a political benefit. Can you please stand back a bit? Thank you. Why did you do that? The proposition you're putting is absolutely ridiculous. Ever since 7.30 revealed fresh details about the Premier's role in approving a grant pursued by Daryl Maguire, she's been facing more uncomfortable questions about an ongoing corruption inquiry into her former partner. Are you going into hiding? Why Not on earth all. that decision? And whether she herself has become a focus of that inquiry. If someone is under investigation by the ICAC, can they remain in Cabinet or not? Uh, nothing has changed in relation to that matter. Please be seated, Ms Burgick, then. Last year, the Premier made a surprise appearance as a witness before the state's anti-corruption body, making a public revelation about a very personal matter. Ms Berejiklian, have you ever been in a close personal relationship with Mr Maguire? Yeah, um, I would like to say at the outset that Mr Maguire was a colleague of 15 years. He was someone that I trusted and that oh. and that developed into a close personal relationship. Yeah. The Premier said she had not disclosed her relationship with former MP Daryl Maguire because it was not of sufficient status. Mr Maguire has been accused of misusing his position in public office for his own financial gain. The revelation has raised questions about whether the Premier ever made decisions that could benefit Mr Maguire or if she had an undeclared conflict of interest. I've tried to be as open as possible, answer all the questions as fully as possible. Last December, 7.30 revealed the Premier's role in the process of approving a grant for this development, the headquarters of the Australian Clay Target Association, in Daryl Maguire's former electorate of Wagga Wagga. Why didn't you declare a conflict of interest over this funding reservation decision that you made as Treasurer, given it did involve Daryl Maguire? Uh, now, if you are suggesting that the Treasurer of the day uh, personally signs off on every single funding allocation that's made, that is incorrect. Uh, what the Treasurer of the day does is allocate dollars to relevant portfolios, to relevant uh, ministers to prioritise what is in their portfolios and uh, to make decisions on what are worthwhile projects. Daryl Maguire wrote to then-Treasurer Gladys Berejiklian in January 2016, asking for financial support for the project. She replied a month later, thanking him for bringing it to the government's attention. Before the Clay Target Association had lodged a formal application, in December 2016 the funding was set aside. As Treasurer, Gladys Berejiklian would ordinarily have chaired the committee that makes these funding decisions. I think as, as night follows day, the Premier would have been obliged not to sit on this decision. Now, whether she did or not, I, I don't know. But if she did, I think that would be a clear conflict of interest. Government officials won't answer questions about the grant, but confirmed that it was being looked at by ICAC. What, what, what was the Premier's role at that point? Oh, look, I don't, I don't think it would be appropriate for us to comment on the substance of matters that are clearly currently under investigation by the ICAC. I, I believe this matter is one of them. Tonight, 7.30 can reveal that before the grant was first considered by a powerful cabinet committee, New South Wales Treasury officials advised the government not to set aside funding. According to this document, it was still approved from a fund overseen by then Treasurer Gladys Berejiklian. You set it aside as Treasurer. I, I understand all, all those arrangements went through the normal processes. I don't intervene in those processes. The normal process is for you as Treasurer to sign off on it. Well, I'm telling you now that as Treasurer, you oversee all funds that are obviously going through, but that is up to the relevant minister and I wasn't the relevant minister. The Premier's office did not respond to 7.30's questions. A spokesperson has previously said she was not under investigation by ICAC and never had any knowledge of Mr Maguire's dealings. A New South Wales Treasury spokesman said it was Treasury's role to provide advice to the government, and it wasn't appropriate to discuss Cabinet information publicly. The Premier has declined multiple interview requests from 7.30, so many questions remain unanswered, including how was this grant approved and why did Treasury officials not support it? Did the Premier have a conflict of interest over her role in awarding this grant, given that Daryl Maguire stood to gain a political benefit from it and she was in a relationship with him at the time? And has the Premier been notified by ICAC that her actions in the grant process may be a focus of their ongoing investigation? 
but you have. Do you believe that the public? Do you believe that the public has a right to know if their premier or a member of her cabinet is before ICAP? Well, uh, they are matters for the integrity agency. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.